at YouTube. Got a package in the mail, but it's something I gotta tell y'all. Bars. Listen, I'm going to the beat. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, Yo! Uh, you about done? Uh, the, uh, the, Tick-tock, mother- I'm going to CT Barber Expo, and, uh, Does this keep happening to me? The barber plug is flying me out. I'm gonna be at his booth, and these are gonna be some special colorway trimmers, clipper. Let's just open it up. I'm rambling. Let's go. My life is more difficult than anyone else's on the planet, and yes, I'm including starving children. <sighs> okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, boom. This colorway right here is the special 360 GZ colorway that will be at CT Barber Expo at the Barber Plug booth. All right, I will be there. Let me open it up. Boom, this is what they look like. Red at the bottom, gold up top. Almost kind of give you that trophy trophy vibe. But yeah, come through, pick up your special uh, 360 GZ colorway right here. I'm about to be uh, slicing and dicing with these. I'm gonna try to modify the blade on this one. Get that modified. But if you're gonna be at the Barber Expo in Connecticut. Stop by the Barber Plug booth. We'll see you there. Stay tuned. Peace. start cutting any hair off what you want to do is basically pick the hair out and lay the hair in place the worst thing you want to do is just start cutting hair starting sloppy all right how you start is how you finish so make sure you start off neat everything nice and picked out and laid what you want to do is set in your bald line I'm using my babyless FX trimmers and I'm gonna set it in in a slight rainbow like shape next switching over to my stylecraft instincts with the lever fully open I'm going up about a half inch and I'm making sure that I use my corners the entire time the reason why I'm using my corners is because it'll be too much to look at both ends of that blade, all right? So I like to focus on one thing at a time. So I use my corners of the blade just to keep the shape and to focus on one thing at one time. Also, when fading his beard, whatever I do to the top, I'm gonna do to the bottom. So with the next guideline I'm gonna set in is the one guard with the lever open. I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna set it in with my corners and I'm gonna go up about a half inch, making sure that I flick out into the afro at the top. Now I'm gonna work my way back down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close the lever on the one guard and just soften up that middle line. Next, putting on my zero guard with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, flicking out that middle line. Now keep in mind, look at how I'm using my corners the entire time. I'm just working down, um, not really being too quick to just get the whole thing taken out, all right? I'm taking baby steps. 
Now, in some cases, that zero guard close doesn't take out the line fully. What I like to do is I like to go back with my lever open and just kind of detail in that area, knock out them areas where I see bulk. With the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, the same way how you flicked out that middle line with the zero guard closed is how you attack that bottom line. And most importantly, what you need to know is that you can adjust your lever as you go up. Don't rely on it just being closed. Adjust your lever um, as you get higher in that fade. do detail work all right this sets you apart from just being an average barber all right utilize your mirror the mirror shows you a different perspective on the blend that you can't see head on so utilize that get in those areas where you see bulk with your corners so now that the fade is out of the way i'm gonna start next by shaping the afro in the shape that my client wants he wants that flared out afro type look so i'm just gonna go in that that shape that my client wants. to tapering the back it's the same thing as the sides so the only difference is is that you have a lot more room to work with but I suggest that you guys use the same exact steps When they sit in my chair, I spin them in a full 360 and they come out looking like God did. You too. This is the cat. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production. That's my brother.
brother he does on my beats his youtube channel will be linked in the description below make sure you guys go give him a follow also if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video links will be in the description below otherwise you guys can follow me on instagram and tiktok my tiktok is official 360 gz and my instagram is 360 gz but it's your boy 360 gz and i'm out of here